course there would be more people down here. Of course. It's like, why, did, why didn't you go upstairs with your buddies? Like, up on the surface. And that would be much better than just waiting in the bottom of a fish tank for somebody to rescue you. But guess what we get to fight now? Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a Daidoku here. And we got to take all of his armor off. And, uh, it's, it's a little bit more tricky because, in case you didn't notice, your moves all are significantly slower underwater. It's all the fact that he can somehow, I don't know, exhume a flamethrower while under the depths of pressurized hundreds of thousands of gallons of water. Alright, so let's go and take the rest of his armor off. Hopefully at least get it, at least a gold. I'd be satisfied with that. We've got far more pure platinums than I could have cared to have gotten, so I'm satisfied. Alright, first, there we go. Oh, don't even think about it. Mm, okay. So of course because he has spikes, it's gonna be, ooh. Spikes are a drill. Big Daddy underwater. Oh, ooh. Getting guts against it. Alright, let's do that. I got a lot of my friends there. How dare you? Ooh. Okay. Let's just finish this asshole off, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Ooh. Okay. Here. Here. Alright, yeah, you just. Uh, you gotta telegraph your moves a little bit more carefully because you can't see shit. Ooh. Okay. Thought it was gonna hit me there, but it's just. Decided to go a completely different angle with that. Alright, so we got it, and wow! Another pure platinum! Okay! I'm not disappointed, game! And also, you can go back up through this way if you really want to. <laughs> I'm not sure why you'd need to, because I think the leftmost uh, one would actually let us back up. Yeah, it'll just lead us on the other side of that thing. So let's go take the right pipe. So you would assume that because the right pipe last time led us to a hidden room, this one would, right? Maybe. Nothing I said there made any sense, but there's spike walls down here, so let's get rid of them with my with my punishing whip. And hey, check it out. There's a couple of, I don't know, gentlemen down here. And another wonderful one. By God. We've got Wonder Mop. Oh my God. What are you? What's his name? What's his name from, uh, God, the Wolf Among Us? I don't even know. It was, uh, Mr. It was like the frog, I don't know, frog prince. Okay, so now that we have that, and I do believe in this window, why there's a completely submerged building underwater with an open window? I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't understand Nintendo logic as much as others may, but that seems like a fallacy in logic to me, so. We'll go all the way back here. Gonna make half my viewers nauseous, which would be, I guess, one person, so let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, we'll just go into the center one. You don't really need to see where that left one goes, do you? <laughs> Alright. And are we almost there? No, we're not. We are, we're getting kind of close. But, uh, let's go across this way. Actually, I think we don't even need to. We'll kill these baby Doc Ops. The self-replicated variety. Get out of here! Thank you very much. He goes into the water, he's like, what? Don't want to get my mask wet. Alright, and there's a bunch over here. Also, you can attack people while you're still clawing. It's a big deal. Okay, yeah, this is like a little baby practice one. We can just jump off over here and collect it. Okay, but our real prize is down underneath the water because we've just got a regular fight. Again, more, more, I don't even remember what these things are called. <laughs> uh, but, oh, yeah, you are not, you are not going to see the bright end of that tunnel last, so, okay. All dead, everybody's dead, and, all right. So you'd think that there would be more to this particular underwater area, but no. As far as I know, there is nothing. Except for one little thing here. In between these two pillars, if you go ahead and use your Unite Hammer, you get yourself a nice little wonder figurine. There's no way I'm going to be able to collect all of these. Because you have to replay multiple difficulties, go to the Kakurigas, the death regions, and... I don't know. Oh, Alright, but once we head over here... God. Unite sword. Well, if it isn't the naughty little children I've been hearing so much about. Identify yourself. <laughs> so 
You're the big man in charge, then? Precious. Think you can take charge of the show? What? Who... who, who are you calling Precious? Oh, he's so cute when he gets all worked up. Let's see what you got, big boy. Enough! <laughs> Red face matches his sentinel suit. Very chic. Oh, do not worry, Red. That cougar is not going to bite a sweet little thing like you. Did you just call me a cougar? You heard me, Foundation Face. How dare you? I was doing my turn on the catwalk while you were still in diapers. Oh, and who was in the audience? Ever <laughs> cougars too? Oh! Come over here and say that to my face, you ditzy cheerleader-looking pom-pom headache! <laughs> Go scare me! Mama! Yes, yes, sir, you're fine! This is it, Vichon. You have a date with my Valiantium blade that's long overdue! The blue! So wait, this is a children's game, right? I've mentioned this before, correct? Anyway, it's a one-on-one -on -one fight. You have no Wonder Morphs at your disposal. Although, uh, Vijun, she has four moves that are very easy to telegraph and they're very easy to see. However, avoiding them and being able to deal damage in a reasonable amount of time leaves a lot to be desired. So there she's used all four of them. One where she uh, does her... Yeah, this heart thing is actually pretty funny if you get hit by it. It doesn't do any damage, but um, it turns you into a puppy, and you won't be able to attack or anything for like 10 seconds, so it's kind of funny, I think. But you're ridiculously weak. Every hit you use, it gets rid of a, a huge chunk of your unity gauge. It is not fun. Also, she has this move, which is annoying. You're spinning. That's going to be your main point of interest you want to watch out for. And uh, also those rockets. Her fourth move is she'll duplicate herself. That's actually pretty simple. But the thing about this thing, while it's kind of cool that they want you to do a boss by yourself, it's not the only time this happens. And I'm not going to lie, <laughs> I am not a huge fan of not having Unite Morphs. Um, you don't really have sp uh, spikes. You don't really have Unite Guts or a Spring, but you can kind of do something like that later. I'll, I'll show it more when the time comes and it's more relevant. Mother of God. And, uh, and she has so much health, too. It's, like, insane. All right, here. After we do enough damage, though, this this arena should shift. So, yeah, these homing missiles really are, are not too bad. Okay. Jesus Christ. It's like you can never find a moment to get into attack without exposing yourself to being killed. <laughs> I've never gone through this without getting hurt, but I think I know her moves well enough now to the point where it's good. Or maybe I'm just playing too cautiously. Maybe maybe we'll just get a really shitty score on time and I'll at least be able to live with the fact that I beat this without getting hurt. I don't know. And by the time it, you are done dodging them, ah, it just it already wastes so much time. There we go. There we go. Yeah, one of blue. Ah, oh, feeling the sting of my Valiant and Blade is right. Oh, Jesus. Okay, now here, if you hit the right... Yeah, look how much damage we're doing here. If you hit the right person. Uh, oh, we got it. All right. Okay. I'll take it. I will take it. Oh, Jesus. How's it feel to be stung by the Valley Antium Blade? Ooh, it feels wonderful. A little higher next time. I'm gonna kick. Oh, I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> Compensating for something, baby blue? Ah! Blue! 
I still don't see what's so wonderful about you. A mystery to be unraveled next time, I suppose. <laughs> Team, we can't leave a man behind. We have to save Blue. <laughs> All right, so we've lost blue, unfortunately. So let's continue on with this with mission 11. Yeah, but we're not done here yet. Um, this one's actually kind of funny because it's so short and I don't know. We're nearly there, you guys, though, so don't you worry. Of course, you're, you're seeing this all segmented, but I'm playing this all at once. So it's a little more difficult for me. All right, let's move forward. Ah, more people on the ceiling, die. There we go, beautiful. So we don't really even need Wonder Blue. I don't know why they have such a huge emphasis on that. <laughs> okay. Now, right here, look at this. What in the world? What the hell? No, no, don't get stuck. Oh my god. I got, ah, oh, I got caught on the bottom of that. But he died. <laughs> he self-destructed himself after he learned that it was no good without his buddies there. But there we have it. Mission uh, 011, I guess. And we got a pure platinum. Oh, God. And we got a fire victory torpedo. whoop de doo I really needed it. Alright. So this entire structure collapses. It's like, man, Wonder Blue cannot still be alive after that. What is going on? <laughs> oh, ooh, and there's a helipad here. Oh, you know what? We're not quite finished here yet. Alright, let's go uh, circle this bad boy up. Did we do it the first time we fought that Hagone? Hagone? I don't remember, but there was a helipad there, I think. Probably didn't get it. And check it out! We've got ourselves just regular enemies with another mission here. God, these I think I might have mentioned this at some point. But man, these levels are are long. Like I don't really hmm, I kinda like longer levels, but at the same time, this one is almost unreasonably long. I think the next one is longer, but um it, it actually progresses in a different way than these have, because we've just been- oh shit. We've just been going like fight to fight you, you know? I don't know. Did he not? Okay, he decided he didn't want to punch at the last second. Alright, let's go kill these guys. Yeah, as if you couldn't tell, I mean, Wonder Claw is not very good for staying on the offensive. Except for right there, oh my god! I didn't even know I had Wonder Stinger for it yet. Or whatever the hell it was. Or Wonder Rising. There's so many oblique names, I don't even know. All right, now check it out. We get to fight another one. Yes, another Hagone. It's like you can call him just like badass goddamn dragon who will fuck your shit up if you're not too careful. Apparently not. Let's open it. There we go. And let's go to town on this guy. Yes. Yeah, so I'm, uh, like I said, I'm kind of a fan of the fact that he can freeze things, but if he would do it, ooh, that would be amazing. All right, nope, gotta, gotta dodge it. Ugh. How did I lose my combo there? I know that Claw's not very good, but oh, it's because I probably had to open it, but let's just take him out, please. There we go. There we go. Ooh, the ranking up left and right here, too. Oh, yes, yes, here it goes. This guy, oh my god. I love freezing him and then just like, ugh. And we still got a pure platinum out of that. Okay. This works for me. I'm not displeased with this. We even get ourselves some sweet ass gloves. Yeah, he's like, yeah, these pay in comparison to my Wolverine Adamanium, uh, whatever the hell he calls them, claws, I guess. I don't know. We're gonna head over here for more of the walkway to fall. Watch out, guys! It's falling. What the hell is the purpose of these buildings? Oh, and there's Blue. Blue, are you all right? <laughs> Hands off, bro. I'm good. But I said I'm good. Blue, we're a team. You can't just run off solo like that. Well, just because Nelson says you're a leader don't make you one, and it sure don't make you mine. Blue, put a lid on it. You and your ego put the entire team at risk. Pink, it's all right. No, Pink, it's not all right. Just because you couldn't fight your way out of a designer bag doesn't mean you get to harsh my game. this later, like civilized wonderful ones, no? This place is not stable. Out of my bag, Bonaparte. I've got some harshing to do. Bring it. 
Nobody who tastes the sting of my Valiantium blade lives to tell the tale. Stop it! Both of you! That's an order! Unbelievable! I wasn't aware you had time in your schedule for infighting. If it isn't, who are you? But if you are dead set on diving off the deep end, don't let me stop you. She is right. We do not have time for these, my friends. Everyone, calm down. He says after he kicks me in the badonka dog. for the shallow character development there. Okay, so we're going to be doing a little bit of audio switching here, so I'm going to plug in my other... There we go. I'm plug in my gamepad because for the final leg of this mission, we get to do one of these sections. Yes, we are controlling now with the, with the gamepad screen, and uh, we have to make it through this area. We're on the top screen. Actually, this is the wrong way. God damn it. That's actually where we exit. Um, so basically, that ship on the upper screen, which would technically be on your television, um, it will be shooting, el shooting electricity into colored grates, and depending on which one he does on the upper screen, it'll electrocute whatever you see on the bottom screen. And so you want to keep that in mind, as enemies will continually be spawning, apparently. Um, and, uh, overall, it's pretty simple. He doesn't go in the same pattern every single time, you just want to be kind of on the lookout here. Uh, if you get electrocuted, you fall, take some damage, it's no big deal, but it's uh, in our best interest not to. Also, uh, you control the camera by tilting the gamepad, I'm not a huge fan of that. I know I like gyroscoping and Majora's Mask, but I mean, for pure camera control, not so much. Especially when you can't even it out without, ooh, without extremely, like, tilting it to where you can't even see it. Okay, so he's on red. And for whatever reason, his buddies, they don't get hurt by the electricity. It doesn't make any sense at all. Alright, and oh god, he's on red. He is on red. Ooh, okay, that was good. And actually, I think we just made it, so sweet. Alright, so let's run over to the switch over here and stick our Valiantium blade in it. And call it good. This will actually open the way that is right beneath him, which is also right beneath us. Very nice. And, oh, wow, thank you. Uh, so we've got ourselves a pure platinum, yes. I don't know why I sounded so surprised there, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, he's going to be continually letting off a blast. But before we go, there are a couple of things we can collect in here. Many of which include cash, money, food, the essentials. Um, such as over here. We get ourselves a lovely uh, soup. Nice soup. Beautiful. I love me. Or cake, I should say. And uh, we're going to need to destroy this. God, I, okay, my, I'm, like, I'm like completely at like a 45 degree angle with my chest right now. Okay, let's, okay, this, this is a little better. And in this last one, we have our final platinum coin. Beautiful. Ah, uh, so beautiful. Alright, what did we get? Ooh, shocking red. Again, something we can't really use, but for being a warhead and a depleting your score, I'm not surprised. Okay, gamepad. Let us do this. There has to be like a center button on this or something. Because we need to go up here. You need at least 100 wonderful ones to make it up here. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to make it. But since we do, perfect. We didn't have to do too much there. Gonna be climbing up all you bozos here who are going ass to mouth. And uh, let's go collect our first hero fragment. No, this is our second, isn't it? That was our first. Yep. Never mind. We collected the last one, I think. What was it? Operation 003B or something. And uh, that one I had to do as an, uh, an addendum. Amen addendum? Like something I had to add in later? I don't remember. But anyway, now we can leave that way that I tried to leave before. But make sure you have Wonder Sword out so that when you walk out, you'll be able to uh, deflect his asshole laser back in his face and call it good. And after 13 grueling missions. Okay, my audio on my TV is still working. We have finally made it. Oh my god. It took so long to get here. Look at that. It almost filled up the entire row there. 
We have four golds, but the rest were pure platinums. Oh my god. We didn't get a single platinum in that. They were pure platinum or gold. Wow. <laughs> we either did really good or we fucked up in some places. Man. That is a long level. That is a 50 minute recording, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Elson Cruz. I will see you guys next time for Operation 004B, where we're going to be entering a very different area. Something that kind of shows the twist of the game. I don't know. You guys will see what I mean later. It's badass. See you guys then.